Gold price drops $60 from new record high as cuts weekly gain. Gold prices fell hard after stronger-than-expected U.S. jobs data on Friday but held on track for a 1.4% weekly gain as global stock markets headed for a 2.0% week-on-week drop amid the worsening regional U.S. banking crisis. With April's growth in non-farm payrolls data beating consensus forecasts by more than 40%, betting that the Federal Reserve will reverse this week's small rate rise to 18-year highs of 5.25% at its next meeting in June evaporated to zero from one in 10 of all positions. Christmas 2023 will still have seen the Fed retreat by 0.75 points according to the consensus betting on December's decision shown by the CME Derivatives Exchange's Fed Watch tool. New data from the Mining Industries World Gold Council meantime said that Q1 saw central bank gold buying continue but slow a little from 2022's eight-decade record pace, while China's Lunar New Year demand was strong and U.S. coin and bar buying edged higher to its heaviest since spring 2010. Former Western No. 1 retail investing market Germany sank, in contrast, down by almost three quarters from the first three months of last year. Together that put the USA's quarterly retail demand for gold coins and small bars above Germany's for the first time since Q2 2016, and only the third time in the last decade. Trading at $2,009 ahead of Friday afternoon's PM London benchmark auction, the gold price may have set a new intraday peak $60 higher early Thursday after the US Fed raised its key interest rate as expected but said it will now be data-dependent on further hikes ahead. There's push and pull from different sides but what we've yet to see unleashed is widespread financial investment in gold, says the WGCS John Reed, speaking to the Financial Times. The question is can the gold go on from here and make significant gains? The Fed is hiking into an ongoing banking crisis and a very contentious debt ceiling crisis, says a note from strategist Nikki Shields at Swiss Bullion Refining and Finance Group MKS Pamp. Economically, it that makes Wednesday's rate rise one hike too much, and the Fed will be forced to U-turn as credit lending is withdrawing fast and having an impact on the real economy. WTI accrued oil price action is just telling a recession is coming. Gold is sniffing that all out and it's a matter of when, not if, that triple top around $2,075 is breached with $2,200 the next target. Gold prices in China The metal's number one consumer market today set a fresh domestic record at 455 yen per gram, but the surge in global gold prices meant Shanghai premiums above London quotes held at $2.50 per ounce for the week, barely one-third the typical incentive for new bullion imports and the smallest weekly average since last June. Yesterday's strong action in global gold prices saw the giant GLD Gold ETF expand by 0.2%, heading for a second consecutive weekly inflow. But the Q1 figures from the WGC say that overall the gold ETF market shrank yet again in Q1. The move up in gold prices won't be linear, predicts Shields at MKS Pamp. It never is and today's volatile price action highlights the drawdowns in being overly long into disorderly markets very typical of late-cycle regimes.